All right. <laughs> he gave me a good shout out though, so it's good. Marcus, how does it feel uh, kicking off year two with the team? Uh, it feels great. Um, I definitely feel excited about this year coming in. Uh, had a pretty good off season, you know, get my body right and everything like that. Uh, working on my game and stuff. Uh, just being around the guys, going into this defense year two, um, being in the locker room. So just overall, feel a lot better than I did last year. How would you say that chemistry with you and Tyron in that that feels is this year compared to right. Um It's definitely, uh, definitely a night and day difference because um, obviously, you know, each week, each practice, we were learning each other. Um, but now I feel like we got a pretty good hold of each other. Of like. We can do things without even, you know, necessarily thinking about it and talking about it. Um, so just the chemistry that we have, obviously we're locker mates. Um, so just we're around each other all day, um, keeping track of each other in the off season and things like that. So it's, you know, carried on to off the field as well. So just being next to him, you know, watching him, you know, for a long time and learning from him at the same time has uh, definitely been helping me. So just being out there with him has been great for me. What are some of the things you've been doing to have a different outcome, you know, this upcoming season in right. year one? Um, a lot was, you know, I was coming off of Achilles injuries, things like that. So that was the main thing, just getting that going again, um, working on my strength and explosiveness, um, speed and agility, stuff like that. Um, I definitely feel a lot better coming around uh, year two. Um, you know, just overall general health and things like that. Um, so, you know, just feel overall healthy. What about mentally? Just, you know, just continue to work, um, knowing that it's an everyday process. Um, you know, you can't look too far ahead. Um, like I said, just an everyday grind, just being around family and friends like that, um, and just looking forward to the season. Uh, you know, all, this is always the best time of the year um, for me um, and everybody else around me. So, like, you know, just overall spiritually just excited about it. Did you ever, like, fully feel like yourself last year? Was there a point, or, or is that more this year that you feel more? Um, no, I felt good. I mean, obviously, I knew I was coming off an Achilles uh, injury. Um, but just, you know, being ready for week one, knowing that, you know, I still can play football, I still can run and, you know, jump, cut, make tackles. And um, so just being out on the grass, for me, just in general, was a, a big thing for me. But obviously, looking to make a jump now, um, going into year two. So I just feel better overall. What's it been like working with Joe Woods and Marcus Robertson? Uh, it's been great. I mean, they've been around for a long time. Um, they've seen a lot of ball, um, been around a lot of great safeties and DBs, and they had a, a you know, a great, a great thing coming in for us. Um, just learning new, new things, um, just taking their knowledge uh, one day at a time, and so just having them in the room this year has definitely been great so far. Why did you get a chance to be around Marshawn a lot? What's he just sort of like, you know? Right. Uh, no, he. I mean, we all know Marshawn. He's a quiet guy, but you know, once he once he's comfortable with you, um, he definitely opens up. Uh, you know, he loves ball. That's all he talks about is ball. Um, you know, just watching him go to work. Um, obviously, last year was my first year being out there with him, but always from the outside looking in, you know the type of talent he has, the ability that he has to lock down the whole side of the field. Um, but now that you see him go to work every day, like you see how it shows up on Sunday. So just being a part of it now is definitely a blessing for me. Does he say he's more locked in this training camp? Or uh, yeah, he's, you know, he came in. I mean, he even like, shoot, throughout our days, you know, he's, he's in the gym, uh, in the weight room, still in conditioning reps on the treadmill, on the elliptical, uh, doing sprints while everybody's, you know, sitting at lunch, things like that. And I, you know, he doesn't really say anything, but like you go in there and you catch him, you're like, okay, like you see like a, a different Marshawn. So just, you know, him being overall locked in, I'm excited for him this year. Really, since he's signed, Smoke Monday has been kind of a fan favorite. Yeah. What is it about his personality that people kind of gravitate? Um, he's a good pattern as well. I mean, he's a, he's a great guy off the field too. Um, but once you see him on the field, um, you can tell he really loves football. Um, you know, just, you know, he obviously had, a, you know, injuries and stuff like that, but his spirit was always the same. Um, he never had like a, I mean, obviously everybody has their days, but you could tell overall general, he just likes being around us. Uh, he likes being around the guys and he enjoys being around football, so. Marcus, any information uh, from the league on 
maybe a possible suspension, you know, with Alvin. You got that all out. Uh, have you heard anything? Um, not yet. Um, it's still go ongoing. Um, I haven't talked to the league yet. Um, but obviously, coming up in a few weeks, um, I will start that process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from his first year as Saints head coach to his second year, or is, is he just a pick up where I left? Um, no, nah, he's definitely made his jumps as well. I mean, that's that's what he preaches to us. He can, uh, he preaches everybody has you know their duty to get better for each other around us. Um, so you know him being you know our ultimate leader, um, you can see every day that he shows up to work. Um, you know, just something. As him running wind sprints with us uh, or during camp is something like you normally don't see, you know, from your head coaches. So, like you can tell, he's he's excited about it. He knows the type of team he has. He knows the ability that he has. He's made a lot of changes in the off season with coaching staff. So you know, just overall, you see him, you know, coming along great. So I'm excited for him as well. Do you think he had a chance of beating you? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> No, no, but he definitely ran them all. He was right next to me the other day. Um, so, you know, just to see your coach going to work, too, um, for his players. So, you know, you're always excited to play for somebody like that. When it comes to Woods and, and Robertson, is there anything specific that they bring in terms of their focus to the safety position? Right. Um, um, yeah, no, with him, uh, he does a great job of uh, teaching us the details. Um, he gives us different perspectives to look at. Um, every day there's something new. Um, and he doesn't miss a beat. He's from foot alignment to, you know, your landmarks to everything like that. He's very detailed. Um, you know, that's what you want from a coach to to be able to um, find those little things to help you get better as a player. So just the fact that he's so detailed is something that I appreciate. How's the um, relationship with him is, you know, having the playing experience too? Right, yeah. Like I said, play. that's a major thing. Um, just him actually playing the game, going through it, um, and now coaching it and giving it back. So. He has both sides. He has both perspectives. So, you know, you appreciate that from a coach. We talked to Bradley Roby earlier. And, uh, is it just as simple as far as taking the football away at times that we just catch interceptions right. that yep. hit our hands instead yep. of? Yeah, no, that's um, Joe Wood. He's put up, we watch tape every day about um, all the missed opportunities that we had last year. Um, and now that I'm looking back on it, um, like you say, if we literally just catch the balls that are thrown to us, we could be, you know, top three in the league in turnovers and things like that. Um, even with us, you know, our pass defense being pretty good last year, it could have been even better if we just make the those small plays. Um, you know, it could have, you know, changed the total outcome of everything last year. JT also spoke a little bit about um, the bonding of the defensive backs group over the course of the offseason. How, how has that impacted you? Uh, no, it's been great. I mean, that's what you need, um, you know, on the field, camaraderie and off the field, because, you know, you got to get to know each other as players and as um, men off the field. So just knowing how everybody, you know, operates on a daily basis, you know, how everybody, you can talk to different people, everybody has different things going on. So just us being around each other during the offseason. Um, us, you know, in group chats, just small stuff, keeping track of each other, checking on each other, how's their day going, and things like that. It translates on the field. Um, so just us being around each other, keeping up with each other 24 7 definitely helps. Appreciate you. Thank you.